Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new here. Today's video is full of deep cleaner motivation as well as some everyday cleaner motivation to help you tackle your to-do list today and clean it right along with me. So do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up if you like that type of video and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads and let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing that I wanted to start off with was just giving my hallway a bit of a deeper clean. It's been a little while since I've given it a good scrub. So I'm just going to go in with some hot water and some flora, wipe down all of the doors and the skirting boards and everything and just get it nice and fresh because I never realised how bad this area actually needs doing until I start doing it. But it was really bad. It was really gross. So I'm just going to go in, give it a good scrub over and make it nice and fresh. So I didn't actually realise how much these picture frames needed a good pipe over but then I realised it's probably been a good few months since I last did it and look how much it builds up, it's just insane but I'm glad that I gave them a good pipe over but when it came to pulling out this little shoe rack I found a ton of wood lice behind there and I've been finding loads in the kitchen as well and I'm not really sure where they're coming from or why we suddenly have loads of wood lice so if you do know why or how to get rid of them please do let me know down in the comments because I have no idea we've not had this problem before so I'm just going to go ahead and hoover those up for now and just go in and finish off the skirting board getting rid of all of the dust and cobwebs and everything and then we can move through into the front room Forget to be kind 
but the time we all play our part go on now be good be fine live your life Dream so next on my list is just to sort out the back door because everything gets just dumped here we've got lots of wood to stop cinnabon chewing the carpet and all of his toys and everything it just go in that corner so literally everything just gets dumped and because we're in and out all the time we do bring a lot of dirt and everything in from the garden so i'm just going to clear everything out give it a good hoover and go in and clean those doors as well So this was definitely an out of sight, out of mind situation because the second I pulled that rug back and saw the hole in the carpet, I was so shocked, even though that's the only reason we have the rug there is to cover up that hole. But the minute I saw it, I sort of remembered why it was there in the first place. But that's the, definitely the type of person I am. If I don't see it for a while, I completely forget about it. But I'm just going to go in with the Method Glass Spray and spray over all the windows, getting rid of all of the fingerprints and smudges and everything and just make it nice and fresh your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. shut the lights go in front of Spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in front. your favorite music on all the way baritone I'm always amazed at how fresh and different the front room feels as soon as I've done the doors and the skirting boards and it's something that I don't really think is going to make such a big difference because you don't notice how dirty they are until they've been cleaned but this room is definitely smelling and feeling 10 times fresher than when I started so I'm really glad that I got to that today but now I've got the ironing to do and because of Cinnabon's um, big cage upstairs I'm still doing the ironing downstairs so i've just brought it all down i stuck the telly on and i'm just going to crack on with this because you know how long ironing actually takes me to do so i just want to get all of this out the way and then we can carry on cleaning in the kitchen
Got me saying, hey, girl, will you marry me? Two kids in a house and live happily. I think we are so meant to be. But she says, wait, you forgot something. Every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry, cause I got this all down. And we get on together. And we Falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, falling down, we fade in. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of us down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega So once that was all done I could head through into the kitchen And as you can see it's not too bad I just need to put all of the washing up away from the night before And wipe down the sides with my flash kitchen spray and also go in and do the sink because if you've been here before you know that i love doing the sink it's one of my favorite things and i don't feel like the kitchen is ever finished unless the sink is nice and clean so i do like to have a nice decluttered clean kitchen so i'm just going to go ahead and put everything away and just get it nice and sorted Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of break us down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega I'm going to go in and do the sink with my washing up liquid and just give it a good scrub over. I never normally just use washing up liquid but I've seen so many people do it this way I thought I would give it a go and it actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. So on days where my sink really isn't too bad but it just needs to be a little bit fresher I am going to just use the washing up liquid so I don't go through my sif cream so quickly and then I'm going to save the sif and the white vinegar for days when it's really bad and it could really do with a good deep clean but as today wasn't too bad i just wanted it to be nice and fresh i'm just going to go in and give it a scrub over with my washing up liquid and then give it all a good rinse over seem to have the time but when it's hard you just grow cold up 
We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you beat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you beat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Once that was done, I've just got a few towels to get folded before we can head upstairs because I've still got the bedroom to sort out. I've remembered that I didn't make my bed this morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold these few bits up. I've just got a couple of towels, a few tea towels and just my hair dyeing stuff, my hair dyeing outfit and my hair dyeing towel. So I'm just going to get all of that put away so we can then head upstairs, make the bed and just get the bedroom nice and cosy ready for this evening. Thank you so much for watching today's video i've had so much fun hanging out with you guys today and i really hope you found all the motivation that you came looking for if you did then do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up because it really does help me out when you do that and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i will see you back here in the next one we keep on talking, 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 talking.